All right, hello viewers. Once again, my name is Ugrin Kimpela Feromi, an investment expert in the real estate industry in Lagos, Nigeria. And I want to do a very interesting video today because quite a lot of, lot of people have asked me about this video before. Um, and I feel I should share the secret with us today. One thing you should realize is doing business in Nigeria requires a lot of commitment, a lot of prayers, and a lot of hard work. And most important thing, prayers. And why I say prayers is one of the biggest killers of every business in Nigeria that could change your perspective or your status as a business owner just in a minute or two are policies. Policies are those things that guide businesses such that they would not go below the standard in which the government has created for them. Some few months ago, some few weeks ago, depending on when you are watching this video, Lagos State government actually placed an embargo or a ban on a bike hailing service called OPE. I know many of us are very familiar with that and not for any reason just because they felt that it was causing a lot of um, accidents and a lot of other things on the road. But truth of the matter is they are also positive sides to it because it led to job employment for people who are riders and it made some people self-employed because once you have your own bike you will tend to do what you are employed. But be as it may be, one thing I want to realize or one thing I want to tell you is that if you are a dispatch bike owner, trust me, apart from policies, the business might not be sustainable for a very long time. And because I've been in that scenario before, and I've given us two case studies of what happened to me on personal notes that made me take the decision for me to use the business, dispatch business to actually go into real estate. So very, in a very interesting day, I, I, I started with one bike when I started my dispatch business before I bought the second bike. On getting the second bike, Interestingly, my bike man had an accident, okay? That was his first day of employment. And upon having the accident, he had an accident around 4 o'clock because then I had not gotten the insurance, the live insurance on him. Upon having that accident, around 4, we didn't get the clinic for him till about 9 p.m. in the evening. And upon that, what happened? Upon that, even before they touched him at the clinic, despite taking him to a lot of hospitals in Lagos, they rejected him. Upon that, we ended up spending just that night around fifty thousand naira, and that good example is where my dispatch rider one day woke up. I gave him errands to run. All of a sudden, this guy collected another errand and went far away outside of Lagos to go state to go and do a delivery. I didn't send him to. Those are just some scenarios in which dispatch bike business owner faces, and that's why I say business is not sustainable because there are a lot of edicts apart from the government policy. There are a lot of edicts you face in the business, either not getting the quality riders or you are not being competitive in the industry enough because there are some new people coming to the business and when they come to the business, they crash down the price of their delivery. And with that, what tends to happen is that your customers will run to the cheap ones. And you can't blame the business owners as well because obviously they want the service that are cheap such a way that you notice a way their customers as well. With all these things wrapping around, there are some time ago also that Nipos came out there and they were like, okay, you know what, they are meant to collect a permit for you to also run a dispatch bike business and it was going to a, a, around the tone of about 500,000 or even a millionaire, all sorts of stories. But be as it may be, I blame nobody for this because policies and regulations have to be placed in every business such that standards are met. But be as it may be, just like I've said, you have to think out of the box as a dispatch bike owner or as somebody who owns the business. And why am I saying this is because there are a lot of things that might go wrong and one thing going wrong might not make you be in business tomorrow. And one thing, if you are a dispatch bike owner, just like me from a few months ago, bikes are not always appreciating. The more they use it, it tends to depreciate. And that's why when you first buy the bike, the maintenance cost is very cheap. And as you go further and further, it becomes more expensive. Now, the question is, what is the solution? The solution is for you to buy real estate. And how do you do this? It's very simple. Every week, every month, as you are making your money, always contribute into real estate business by a land it might be 300 square meter maybe 600 square meter and why am i saying this is because it's something i've tried and it worked for me imagine you buying a land for as low as a millionaire and as that today costing about three or four million is a good deal because by today i don't even have any of the bikes again because they are sold and also one interesting thing as well is that i don't have any liability or any rider which may longer so the land is appreciating on its own so independence of the business okay I was able to buy real estate out of it and this can be done by any business because when you have a real estate in your business whereby you're paying for real estate in your business it tends to give you that position of business as well and what do i mean by this is because when you're able to buy real estate out of your business and you want to sell that business to somebody else 
when you tell them you have a landed property, they even take you more serious because they feel you are more serious than someone that does not have land. And they feel you are better positioned as an investment opportunity than any other thing. So with this being said, this can be done by any business if you are in Lagos. And why I said Lagos is because the demand for this part of services is very high in Lagos and it will give you that inflow and outflow for you to also invest in real estate. I've done this before and I'm still doing this for people. If you're interested in this offer, it's a sort of offer that I'll be talking to business owners, teaching them how they could use any small businesses online because it's not restricted to just this part bike owners it's not restricted to the um, e-commerce business and it can be done by any small business because i don't want you to be in that losing end every small business owner one of the best things that you can do for yourself is positioning yourself in that point whereby you as a person can forever remain a top priority for any investor that wants to invest in you any day anytime and one of the best ways is real estate and another way also why i say invest in real estate is because if you want to expand your business it's actually one of the best because let me give you an, an instance if you are buying the land for instance today and as soon as this example you want to expand from have just been a home business business run from the house want to rent an office can try to sell that real estate and use it to pay rent okay so let me give you a perspective about this also as well if you don't want to pay rent but you want to think of um establishing your business expanded so some few weeks or some few months ago i was talking to another business owner and this owner told me something quite fantastic this is somebody who owns a food franchise but this is the truth of the matter this food franchise is located on the Ado road in the lekki ekbe expressway but even before the emergence of ibeju lekki and ekbe this brand already owns lands and that environment so when you see overnight one day you see that the business is expand to that diary and you're like, oh, this business is very rich for them to buy this land. It's not because they have this money, it's because they've invested a long time ago. This business student, they've invested quite a number of time ago. So if this is something that you feel you'll be interested in, it's very simple, it's very easy. All you have to do is contact the numbers on your screen or you could check the numbers below and contact me today. I have a very reliable recipe company which is going to help you out because you could pay weekly or monthly for your asset and it's very very awesome because it's look these lands they have are located in strategic locations that makes your roi skyrocket asap as well if this is for you kindly contact us today and one of the agents is going to talk to you everything you need to know all you have to do before the contact is to fill out one or two forms and why those forms is important is because we need to see how committed and how serious you are because you're not doing this for everybody you're only doing it for people who are serious with their business and they see potential in the growth of their business through real estate with this being said i feel this is for you once again my name is great to tell our me an investment expert and economics and a real estate advisor invest today in real estate because your business needs to be positioned